pets welcome to kk java tutorials uh, in this video we'll talk about add tag annotation in jnet5 we'll see why to use this annotation and what are the benefits of using this annotation here yeah? so let's start uh, we can use uh, jnet add tag uh, to filter test cases from test plans so let's say if we have a lot of test cases right uh, written in different classes and different packages right so every so uh, you can tag the test using uh, a specific name like uh, for a specific environment like div or prod or test and uh, using test plans or using test suits you can uh, basically run uh, those test cases uh, based on uh, specified tags right now here uh, what i discuss it helps to us to create multiple different test plans for different environments or diff or different use cases or any specific requirements we may exclude sorry not exclude but we may execute set of tests by including or excluding only those tags test in test plans so let's try to understand through an example so here i'm going to jump into the clips and here already i have created a project and there i'm going to show you all these concepts related to tag right first of all i would like to show you my pom.xml there i have added all kind of dependencies which is needed to perform a uh, tag operation or to write a test test source right so here uh, first of all i have added generated jupyter api which provides all the uh, uh, annotations and assertions right and related classes to perform to write a genuine test cases in generate 5 second generate jupyter engine uh, i have added which basically provides an environment to run uh genuine test cases at runtime and i have added jnet uh, uh jnet platform runner so that we can create a test suits and there we can specify the tags what are the tags we have to include or exclude to run uh, a specific test suit right and apart from that in build section i have added a couple of plugins like maven compiler plugin as well as maven sure file plugins to uh, basically generate a test case report right now i'm going to show you my source code so here in src main java i have one class is called my utils which is having only one method add method which takes two integer adding it and returning it and i have written one test case for this uh, source and here this is self-explanatory this code is having uh, basically setup method where i have instantiated this class yeah and then after uh, i'm calling uh, add method and this test uh, is written to add to perform a two positive addition of two positive number then addition of two negative number and finally addition of one positive and one negative numbers and in all these test cases just i'm comparing expected and actual results use, using a assert equals method right pretty straightforward and this is finally i'm doing the cleanup operation within the tier down which is annotated at after all and uh, this setup is annotated as at before all right so this uh, test uh, this uh, basically life cycle method is going to execute before all the test method execution and this life cycle method is going to execute after all the test method execution and these two method must be static right else you'll get a runtime error now in if you look at all these three, three cases three test cases so here i have a specified tag dev dev and but here i have a specified dev and prod both right so what i want i want to execute this test only for dev environment right uh, in my test uh, shoot and this test case i would like to run for both the environment prod as well as test yeah uh, prod as well as div right now i have in dot runner package i have a different runner runner uh, or you can say different test suit i have written so name itself what i have given uh, dev test right here you can see you have to annotate your class with at uh, run with if you want to write the test if you want to write the test suit class right test suit class is nothing but uh, if you want to run your test cases uh, which is uh, basically which is which belongs to the different packages or different classes and if you want to run once uh, once uh, based on the based on the selection of packages or classes or based on the 
tags, right? So here you can see here you have to specify JUnit platform dot class uh, when you use add run bit. This identifies that our test suite is going to run on JUnit 5 platform. And here we look at the package selected package. You can specify the list of packages over here with comma separated. As of now, I have only one package is com dot tutorials. And here I am using include tags div. That means in this package, whatever test classes I have, so that will scan. Sorry, not in this package, right? SRC test mark. In this package, all the test classes will be scanned, and wherever any test is tagged as div, right? That is going to run. So in this case, we have three test cases which is tagged as div. So all these three test cases is going to run. If I run, then let's see how many test cases are going to execute. So all here you can see all these test cases ran, right? And these all test cases has been tagged as div, and that's the reason these all test cases ran, right? Now if I look into next, so here you can see what I am telling to the this uh, test suit. Uh, Packages I have registered com .kk tutorials, but exclude tags I have given. So this is going to exclude that test case which is tagged as prod, and rest of the test case is going to exclude. Right, rest of the test case is going to run. So here, if I expand, then here you see there are only two test cases has been ran, right, which is tagged as div. But this has been even though this is tagged as div, but uh, this is also tags as prod and prod uh, test cases I have excluded that's the reason this test case is not ex executed right in this year right this is pretty much clear now last test suit there I have written a test suit and there I'm telling package I have registered against same package but here just I would like to run the test cases which is tagged as uh, prod right so if I run then this is going to run only one test cases because only one test case belongs to the prod tag right here you can see there is only one test case ran which is tagged as prod right so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial if you have any doubt or any concern then post your query below to the video i will try to answer and thank you so much for watching this video